Okay, we are going to take a few minutes right here and do the crayon poll for our playground. Now, the biggest mistake you're going to think about is actually starting with a circle. You're going to see this circle and go, yeah, extrusion, just make a circle. But that is not actually correct because you also have this sort of crayon end right here. Um, for those of you who did the... Um, mallet head for the previous assignment. This is done very similar to the mallet head uh, where you actually uh, draw a side, draw a half view I should say, and then you rotate it around so that it's round. So what I'm going to do is just click on this so you have the dimensions and you might actually want to just take a moment and copy down these dimensions. Um, let me zoom in on everything right here. The tip is 0 0.300. The overall length is uh, 28.25 and the height is 1.5. So what I'm going to do is just minimize this a little bit and take you step by step through the actual construction on the lower window right here. Um, so let's go ahead and new part. And I'm going to size this so that I can follow this and you can follow along. Uh, create 2D sketch and right there. Now I'm going to start from the origin point right here with a line. And go to the right. And this line is 28.25 inches long. Okay, so zoom out. And that is my 28.25 inch long line right there and it is the same as in this top window 28.25 now from there I need another line going up 1.5 so connect it to the end and 1.5 and there it is now from here it goes over 24 inches 24 Okay, so I've got everything. I've got my bottom piece, I've got my uh, vertical, I've got my horizontal. Now next goes the crayon tip, and that is point, oops, let me get to 90, that is point three zero zero. Okay, so I have the little crayon tip right there. Now I have a line going here, which is point one five zero. Okay, now... I should just be able to connect the two right there. So if we look at the geometry, I've got the flat tip right there. I've got the ledge. Um, I've got the overall length. I've got the end. Now all that I have to do is finish the sketch. And let me minimize that for right now. Okay, so I've got that done. Now click Revolve, click our center point, and full, and there we have it right there, um, our finished crayon. Now you can be a little bit creative with the coloring on the crayon. It doesn't have to be all one color. You could say click the tip um, black if you want, uh, or you can color the whole thing one color, or you could have certain pieces, um, different colors. It's all what you want to do with your actual crayon piece. So have some fun with it so that it's actually different colors for yourself. Um, when you save this, you are going to save as, and it is Bach underscore crayon hole. Okay, so you're going to want to stop this video, rewind, and replay as many times as you need to get the concept.